Welcome to our channel. As you know, we love the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We spent numerous weekends exploring its breathtaking beauty. With its incredible overlooks, beautiful green forests, all the awesome waterfalls, and the abundant history, it's become one of our favorite national parks. One of our followers asked recently for some advice on some places to visit for a two-day trip to the Smokies. We get this type of question frequently, so we figured we'd put together a video to help. Thanks, Andy, for reaching out and sparking the idea for this video. This two-day itinerary is designed for those who may have a short time to visit but are eager to explore more of its wonders and make the most of their time. Full videos of each of these locations is listed in the description below. If this video helps you out, please consider liking and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it. Now let's begin our weekend adventure. To start your day, your first stop is going to be the Akona Lufti Visitor Center. It is the perfect starting point at the south end of the park near Cherokee, North Carolina. This is, in our opinion, the most beautiful visitor center in the park. You can check out the old farm museum, possibly see some elk or groundhogs, and take a walk along the Akona Lufti River. The majority of the farm buildings in the Mountain Farm Museum date back to 1900. They were relocated from their original positions within the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in order to establish an outdoor museum. To gain an understanding of how families would have lived a century ago, visitors can see a working blacksmith shop, apple house, barn, spring house, and a log home. It's a lovely place to take a stroll. There's no charge to visit the museum, and it's open all year long. After you stroll around the farm, you can take a leisurely hike along the Akona Lufti River. From the Akona Lufti Visitor Center, the trail goes 1.5 miles in one direction to the outskirts of Cherokee, North Carolina. Despite being relatively flat, there are a few tiny hills. Along the Akona Lufti River, the walk winds through a forest and provides breathtaking river views. This area is also one that elk visit frequently. If you do happen to see them, please do not approach them. They are incredible to see, but please view them and take your pictures from a distance. Located a half mile north of the Akona Lufti Visitor Center is your next stop at Mingus Mill. This historic gristmill was built in 1886 and uses a water-powered turbine instead of a water wheel to power all of the machinery in the building. Throughout the year, park officials will open the mill to give visitors a glimpse into the past and how the mill would have worked. It remains a testament to the passing time as it still stands in its original location. From Mingus Mill, you'll continue your northward drive to Klingman's Dome. This scenic drive is a beautiful introduction to the park's landscape. At Clingman's Dome parking lot, take a half mile paved trail to the observation tower. The tower provides breathtaking 360 degree views of the park, and on a clear day, you can see for miles. Clingman's Dome has the prominence of being the highest point in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And with that distinction, it means that it can get pretty cold and windy up there, depending on the time of year you visit. So pack a sweater if you're not going in the summer. It's also worth noting that the road to the parking lot does close in the winter. Once you've taken in all the incredible views that Klingman's Dome has to offer, head back to the Klingman's Dome parking lot. From here, you'll take the Thorny Ridge Trail for approximately 1.8 miles to reach Andrews Bald. This trail is one we recommend to anyone who asks. Not only do you get an incredible reward with a wide open grassy clearing with panoramic vistas, the whole trail is incredibly beautiful. It's like walking through an enchanted forest. The grassy overlook also makes a perfect spot for your packed lunch. In total, the trail is 3.6 miles and it is one of our favorites. After your lunch and your hike back to the Klingman Stone parking area, continue your drive north to the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. This is our substitute for Cades Cove. While Cades Cove is iconic and very beautiful, due to its popularity, it can be very crowded and can eat up your whole day trying to drive through. Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail is a 5.5 mile one-way driving trail that offers views of rushing mountain streams, glimpses of old growth forest, pull-offs to short hikes and waterfalls, and a number of well-preserved log cabins, grist mills, and other historic buildings. This is also an area popular to black bears. Remember, just like with the elk, view and take your pictures from a distance. This area offers just as much history and beautiful sights as Cades Cove, just with less crowds. To end your first day, head to the charming town of Gatlinburg. Explore the unique shops, art galleries, and attractions. Some of our favorite spots are the Pepper Palace, Spice and Tea Exchange, and the Gatlinburg Sky Bridge. 
There are so many places to visit and explore for all ages. You can conclude your day with a delicious dinner at our favorite restaurant, Loco Burro. Their rooftop patio offers great views of Gatlinburg, making it an excellent spot to unwind and enjoy your meal. Time for day two. Begin your day early with a visit to Laurel Falls, a paved 2.4 mile out and back trail that is suitable for most hikers. The trail leads to the beautiful 80 foot high waterfall, which is the most famous in the park. Because of its popularity, make sure you get here early. After visiting Laurel Falls, drive to the Elkmont area, known for its historic cabins and peaceful environment. Your first activity in the area will be to hike the Little River Trail to discover the serene beauty of Husky Branch Falls. Also, about 0.2 miles down the trail, on the right-hand side is an offshoot where you can check out the enchanting Troll Bridge. The trail to the waterfall is 4.4 miles out and back. It is very easy and mostly flat, less crowded, and offers a tranquil escape into nature as you hike along the river. After your hike, take a little break and explore the Elkmont ghost town. Elkmont is not a traditional ghost town in the sense of a once thriving settlement that was abandoned and left to decay. Instead, it's a historic district located within the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, primarily known for its association with the development of the park and the preservation of its historic structures. Elkmont was originally a logging and resort community in the early 20th century. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the area was heavily logged with many of the valuable timber resources being extracted. As the logging industry waned, the area's natural beauty became more apparent. It attracted tourists seeking a mountain getaway and turned into a thriving summer resort community. After you explore these historic structures, enjoy a leisurely packed lunch in the peaceful surroundings of Elkmont. Conclude your journey with a hike along the Jakes Creek Trail to the historic Avent Cabin. This 2.7 mile out and back trail takes you through a lush forest and offers a glimpse into the lives of early settlers in the area and was used in the early 20th century as an art studio by artist Mena Trainer Avon. The cabin and its surroundings provide a serene and historical perspective to round off your visit to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We hope this itinerary helps you enjoy the Great Smoky Mountains National Park's natural beauty, history, and tranquility. There are plenty of sights to see around each of these locations, so you can adjust this itinerary to suit varying levels of fitness. There are so many beautiful places in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and it's really hard to put together the perfect list for something like this. We just think this is a good starting point. But if you feel like we left something out, please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. We hope you enjoy your two-day adventure.